Welcome to Audrey's Southern Cooking. How are you doing today? And finally, welcome September. Oh, fall is coming and it's so much cooler this morning. Oh, it feels so much better. But it's still gonna get warm during the day. But it's a lot cooler than it was a month ago, back in the first of August. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna complain at all. So it's kind of early here. I, start, I always like to start early because it gets so hot. So that's why you see in the window, it's still a little bit dark, but not too much. I mean, it is almost 7.30, so. So if you've not been to my channel before, welcome. I'm so excited that you came by. If you've been here many times before, or if you've just been here once before, welcome back. I'm glad you came back. Because today, we're gonna do one of my favorite favorite thing. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna make muscadine jelly. If you don't know what a muscadine is, then let me tell you a little something about them. I don't know everything about them for sure, but I do know some. One thing is they grow on a vine. They're a lot like a grape that you buy at the grocery store, like the, uh, the dark purple ones. So this is a muscadine. It grows on a vine, like I said, but they usually grow wild. I'm sure there are people that grow them commercially and bless you if you do. The skin on here is pretty tough. So you can't eat it like a grape. You probably could if you really wanted to chew on it, but it's more like a leather to me. I'm mean, not talking about that it's thick like leather, but it is thicker. But what you do, is you just squeeze this, and I'm gonna hold it over something in case it's, <laughs> cause it usually comes right out and look at that. <gasps> look. Looks just like a grape. It's got the same kind of a meat as a grape, except it's juicy. Mm. Usually what I do is just squirt them right in my mouth. And there are still, oh. <laughs> There are seeds, so be sure you get those seeds out. And this is what the husk looks like when you're, when you're done. It just comes out real clean. Let me move the camera down so you can see what we gotta have for our jelly making today. All right, here we go. So, we've got five pounds of muscadines and I've got them in a pot. And you're just gonna put enough water on it just to cover it. And what we're gonna do is boil these for about 15 minutes. I've got six cups of sugar. If you wanna make a sugar-free kind, I've never done it with muscadine, so I'm not sure. Um, this is sure gel. We're gonna take one box. I have an extra box in case. But they do make a sugar-free version. Just use the grapefruit, or the, sorry, the grape juice recipe for the uh, sugar-free one. Because what we're gonna do is boil these down, get them soft, we're gonna squish them with a potato masher, kind of get the juice out of them. And then I'm gonna use this colander. If you've never seen one, this is my grandmother's, and then my mother had it, and my sister gave it to me to use. So what you do is you're gonna put this in a pot, and you're gonna put your muscadines inside and then we're just going to roll them out and it squeezes all the juice out and then we're going to throw away the husk and the seeds we don't need those and we're going to need jars these are just eight ounce jars i prefer to use these because i don't like having a a big pint open for so long these are good and that takes about 12 of these and that's about all we're going to need so what i'm going to do is go ahead and get these on the stove i'm going to get them boiling and boil them for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and I will show you how to mash them. All right, so here they are on the stove, they're heating up, but I wanted to go over quickly with you what all you're gonna need over here for jars. I've got my lids over here in the pot. What I'm gonna do is bring those to a boil and then I'll turn those off. They just need to be, make sure they're sterilized and they're hot. Now I've washed these jars, there's 12 jars. I have one over there. I've already washed them. So they're clean. I'm gonna put them, I put them in the water here. We're gonna turn that on and get those boiling for about five to 10 minutes. I wanna make sure they're good sterilized. 
Then I have my lids in another bowl, and I'm gonna put those on in just a little bit. We just, again, have to bring these to a boil and let those get hot, turn them off, and then that way they're all, everything's hot when we use it. So again, there's my jars, my lids, and my musky dine, and they are heating up. Ooh, I'll be back. If y'all could just smell the goodness of these muscadines. Mm, mm, mm. All right, welcome back. So what I've done is I, I boiled them for 15 minutes, but I just poured this pot into my muscadines. I'm sorry, poured them into here, and I didn't. I just wiped this pot out because I mean, I just did put muscadines in here. I'm just gonna do them right back. So I'm taking my plunger out again this is just a colander it's a you can call it a food meal if you want something similar to that before we get started don't forget your sweet tea I didn't say it at the beginning because it was cooler but after this has been boiling it's gotten a little warm I also have my jars on boiling already they're uh, heating up so they're just about to a boil so they'll be ready to go so what we're gonna do, and you might wanna keep some wet paper towels or a um, sponge, something to wipe this up because this is muscadines, the juice will stain your countertop. So if you wanna have an old towel or something underneath, this is fine. I just wanted my pot to stay hot. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna be very careful because I did splash this and I was earlier, but what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take some of this and I'm gonna slowly pour some in and the juice is gonna go through. I don't know if you can see that very good. Now some of it, and see it is kind of splashing, but I'm trying to, I'm trying my best not to splash, but there's not a whole lot we can do. All right, so I do hear my jars rolling. So if you hear something behind me, it's just the jars boiling in the water. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is stop like that. And I'm just gonna take my ladle for my jelly. And I'm just gonna spoon it in like this. I'm gonna do this so it won't splash as much. So while this is about half full, I'm taking my, and you look at it before, and you can see it's already been stained from me using this on other issues. So we're just gonna go through this and just kind of roll it through. And I'm just trying to make sure I get all the juice out so that there's no seeds in here, there's no uh, pulp, and there's no skins. So just go through, we're just going to go through this, and you're just going to kind of, every once in a while, you want to push it down, and you're going to push your plunger against the walls of it, and you're going to push, and you're just going to rotate it around. That way it doesn't drip everywhere. And what I'm gonna do, first I think I'm gonna take this off and scrape all this. And once this cools off, I'll throw it in the trash or maybe I'll throw it up in the woods. Um, we do have some deer 
They were eating my blackberries the other day that I saw. I wanted to pick blackberries, but I knew the deer would get them first. And then I'm just gonna get this pulp out. Let me show you what it looks like. See, it's just, it's just pulp. It's just mashed, gross looking skins. They look kind of gross now because they've lost some color being washed. I mean, uh, cooked. And there's a lot of seeds in here. Okay, here we are back. <clears throat> As you can see, I've got my juice done. Of all those muscadines, that's what I have left. This little bowl. This little bowl of, of skins and seeds. And if you look in your, um, if you look in the juice, you're gonna see some pulp. It's not gonna be crystal clear. I can't pick it up too much. Let me just try to, you can see that. It's not gonna be crystal clear, of course. There's gonna be some pulp in here, but it's not big pieces at all. This is gonna be great. So let's move to the stove. I've got my sugar ready, my pectin. We're gonna get this on a simmer. That's why I put it back in the hot pot. As you can see, it's still hot. Let's move to the stove so we can make some jelly. I'm so excited. All right, welcome to the stove. Get some, here it is, my jars over there, see them? They're boiling. But I didn't want to turn them down too much or they'll stop boiling and then I have to go through the long process of heating my water back up. So I have my jar lids here, as you can see, and my rings over there. They're not on yet. I'm gonna wait till this is about done. So what we're gonna do is you can see, I don't know if you can see it in here, but it's starting to move or it's fixing to come to boil. So what we're gonna do is take our one pack of sure gel. I uh, have my sure gel, just have the original. And I'm just going to sprinkle it in. Now, if you wanted to try this juice, this would be great. Um, if you wanted to just leave it as juice and have it for um, smoothies. Oh, I just now thought of that, that would be good. So I'm just stirring my sure gel in. And I'm gonna bring that back up to where it's just about to boil. Let me grab a paper towel to put the spoon on. Because remember, this will stain. My countertop's already got some couple drips on it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start adding our sugar, but we're gonna add it a little slow. Because I don't want it to get too clumpy. This is quite a lot of sugar. And I'm just gonna kind of stir it a little. And then we'll add some more. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir this um, occasionally because I don't want my sugar to, to come back to the bottom and stick. But at the same time, I want it to come to a full boil. Then I'm going to turn it down for one minute. All right, we're coming to a boil. And now you're going to want to constantly stir this. And you're going to want this to come to a full roaring boil and when I say full roaring boil see how that bubbling in the center we want that all over but I have to watch it because it just will boil over and we don't want that okay this is what I'm talking about a full roaring boil I'm gonna have to stir it constantly so my sugar doesn't stick at all it's got to make sure it's dissolved which it should be but you never know I'm gonna turn my timer on Right, I put my timer on for one minute and I went ahead and added another half a package of pectin because it didn't look like it was setting up so we're gonna see 
once this is boiled, if it's going to start thickening up. So what I did is I have a jar of pretty cool water, and I put my metal spoon in there. Use a metal spoon when you do that. And once that gets, uh, this is done boiling, we're going to, we're going to test it. Okay, so my timer went off. Turn that off. So after two packs, if this does not stick on the spoon, I really want to see that little bit on there kind of gel up. But it's not doing that. So we're going to go ahead, put it in our jars, because sometimes it will fool you. So as I just rinsed my spoon off, because I didn't want to lick it and then put it back in here, guess what? It was kind of sticky. And you can look at the top of it. See, that's looking, that's looking gelled. What we're going to do is we're going to scoop the skim off, because I don't want that on my jelly. One thing, if you want to make some of this and sell it, honey, you can sell you will sell out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. See so how it's sticking on the edge of that spoon. Now it's gelling, so we're gonna have to hurry. This jelly is fooling me today. by the sink so you can see me do these jars and I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids and things on boiling too so that when they hit a boil I can turn them off all right let's move over to the other side all right here we are so I've got my um, funnel sorry what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, dipper and we're gonna funnel it into the jars so we're gonna set that to the side for a minute and I'm going to take these jars out real quick. And now I've left my jelly on the stove, even though the eye's off, because I'm trying to keep it as hot as I can so it doesn't gel up on me. So quickly I'm going to take these out and be super, super careful. And the first thing you want to do is turn them upside down and get any excess water off. Now I have, uh, you want to put a towel down because you don't want to set them on directly on anything cold because these are hot so they will, uh, they will crack. Try not to hit them against each other either. Okay, let me get these out. We'll be right back. So I've got my jars out and I've got a couple of them turned up. I'm going to move my muscadine jelly right here in the sink. So it'll be right here close to it. What we're going to do is we're going to fill the jars. My lids and my rings are just about to, to a boil and I'm going to turn those off and then we'll put them on. But what we're going to do See how that's already doing here on the top? Look at that. See how it kind of came together? I'm just gonna pour this in the other sink and wash it down. But you see how it's on the, on the spoon now? That's what I was looking for earlier. Since the sink is cold, um, it's going to cool this down, so I'm going to have to get going on it. If you get a little bit of this foam, please don't worry about it, unless you're going to sell it. All right, so I just take a scoop. Where's my funnel? 
trusty spot funnel. Uh oh, I'm already dripping it. And we're just going to pour it in. Now you want to make sure you get this right to the top. These jars are really hot. That first little ring, you want to get to about to that area because you want to leave about a quarter of an inch of head space. You don't want to overfill these jars. And as you come across some of this, just skim it off. I think it's never going to work as perfect as you want it to, so just do the best you can. That one I did overfill, we'll get a spoon. I did overfill it, so I'm just gonna scoop a spoon full out. I got a clean spoon because I already put this other one in the sink. And it happens. I didn't go too far, I just went, I mean, I didn't like overfill it to it where it went all over, thank goodness. And I always hold the handle just to be safe. I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful with this one. We're going to move to the next one. some biscuits and put me some muscadine jelly on it and we're still not gonna have enough jars. I think I need one more jar. This might be I'm sorry I'm blocking your view but I'm just gonna pour this in because it's very carefully this looks like that's just gonna be enough. So what I'm gonna do Pour the rest of that little bit in here. And find me some jars. But look at that. Woo! Perfect. Look at that. It's so great. I'm so excited. So we've got 14, 14 half pints. Oh, fabulous. All right. Let's get our lids and rings. We almost did it. <laughs> All right, so we take our little magnet on a stick, and I'm just going to stick these lids on there.
Now, when you tighten these lids on, make sure you tighten it to where it's finger tight, but you don't want it too tight because you'll want to have room to expand. jars are hot. Alright, so now we're going to do take our jar grabber, pick up your jar, and stick it back in this hot boiling water. And you want to make sure that there's enough water in there that's going to cover it. But the more jars you add, the water will cover it. And don't you don't want these jars to be like right up against each other. Once I get them in, I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can really see <laughs> from there, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of scooting around with the jar grabber, but I'm not letting them touch. This guy's kind of short, but he's gonna go in the middle. Stop there. I have three jars and I'll put those in after these come out. So when these get to a boil, we're going to boil them for 10 minutes and then I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to put the other ones in. So we'll be back when these are um, just about ready to come out. All right, welcome back. The timer went off, it's been 10 minutes. So I'm taking these out. But don't be surprised if you start hearing popping noise. down so I have my jars here and these are too hot to touch and I am not going to open one you now anyway and again uh -oh. there's that so we'll let these sit and they will start popping which means they're sealed and then they'll sit for a little while and they should be ready to eat and that is all there is to canning so let's move back over to the counter while these last three jars are heat back up and um, we'll, we'll finish this video up. All right, you can see, I can hear them, they're, they're bubbling over there. All right, well, thank y'all for watching the video. Woo, let me strip my clothes up here. I'm like a back bond. <laughs> thank y'all for watching the video. I really do appreciate that. But I'm gonna tell you something, I am sweating. Oh, do you hear those jars popping? Even my ice and my tea's already melting. Even though the temperature outside is nice and cool, it is hot in here from the steam, from the boiling water, and the boiling everything. So, <laughs> it's all right. I just look a mess, so I apologize. But thank y'all again for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you for this the comments y'all help me a lot some are constructive comments which um, I do appreciate because they let me know what you're thinking and what you want to see and I appreciate that a lot thank you for the nice comments that you just enjoy the videos because without you guys I wouldn't be here today honestly so I want to thank y'all again popping jars <laughs> for watching my videos if you'd like to help support my channel um, I will have a Venmo link down below. 
in the description and also um, a PayPal link if you'd like to use PayPal. So, if you enjoyed the video, thank you so, so much. Um, please go ahead and click the notification bell that you want to see more videos and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and share it with your friends so they can subscribe too. Um, I'm still low in my subscription. I'm trying to get up. So please go ahead and share this with your friends and um, let's see how many more subscribers I can get. Um, that would be great because I'm really trying to get, my goal is actually a couple hundred thousand subscribers, if not more, but um, right now my minimum goal is a thousand. And I would really appreciate if we could at least get that thousand. That would be so great. <laughs> All right, thank y'all um, for watching. And again, the description for the video is gonna be in the bottom. Well, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day.